Hi, I'm Chris Gasper and this is Globe 10.0. I'm joined today by Greg Lee. Celtics are coming down the home stretch of the NBA's regular season. Only 16 games remaining. Can you believe that? They are battling the Bulls for the top spot in the East. We all know last year, obviously, the Celtics ended up only winning 50 games. They were 27 and 27 uh, over their final 54 games. Did not have home court in the Eastern Conference playoffs, something that they would like to have this year. Greg, what's more important for the Celtics, home court or health going into the playoffs? Uh, health going into the playoffs, because last year they've shown that they can win on the road, and they went to Game 7. Don't and you think five. the East is tougher this year, though? I know they did it last year. Everybody says that last year. But going into last year, no one picked them to do that. Nobody thought they were going to go to the finals. And I think the East is deeper this year. I think it would be tougher to make it back. East is it? tougher, but I don't think they could. The you know, Celtics is not going to fall below a two seed. I think if they went to a three seed, uh, and they'll play the, probably play the Knicks in the first round, which would be very, very Philly's tough. Philly's creeping up and there. Philly's gonna Philly is making a run Philly, for six. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think if the Celtics stay within a one, two range, they'll be, they'll be just quite fine. But the most important thing is getting healthy for this team, especially getting Shaq. Because all the talkers talk about when they trade Kendrick Perkins, that Sha they need Shaq. So Shaq's got to get Get right for the uh, for the playoffs. Uh, everyone, you know, Delonte's got to get rounded in the form because he's missed over 50 games with injuries and suspensions. Uh, so the overall health of this team is more important than having a, that number one seed, I think. I'll tell you, and that, that's what was great, I thought, about the win against the, the Pacers on Wednesday night, Greg, because you looked at it and guys in the fourth quarter, only Ray Allen amongst the core four played. Everybody right. was under 30 minutes. Rondo played 29 minutes, 47 seconds, so technically he was under 30 minutes. Yes. They were able to get these guys some rest. Ideally, I think that's the way you play it down the stretch. If right. you can get wins and get rest. I'll tell you something else to keep an eye on. The Lakers. I think it's very important. I know they're over in the Western Conference, but if you run into them in the finals, you want Game 7 in your building. I think you also have to keep an eye on them out West in terms right. of your record. Right. You want to finish with a better record than the Los Angeles Lakers as well. And you're, and you're right, because you, you just overlook the San Antonio Spurs, but really the San Antonio Spurs, they beat all the teams. Well, you're not going to catch the Spurs. Not that's, catch that's, the Spurs. I'm you're not disrespecting the Spurs. The Spurs. Yeah. I'm just saying you're not going to catch them. The Spurs won't make it there because I think the Lakers were bored in the first half of the yeah. season. Now they turn on the lights you know, and, and they're on a big winning streak. So yes, the Celtics need to stay in front of the Lakers so they get Game 7 in their building. So I think it's really dual purposes here for the Celtics. You, you certainly want to stay healthy. You have to do that or you can forget about the playoffs. But if you just kind of pack it in and say, oh, we're just going to ease up these last 16 games, you end up with the three seed, say, in the East. You have a worse record than the Bulls and the Heat and the Lakers. Banner 18, that would be really tough.